Bad news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. Let one of us help. I'm going up there. I owe Elgrinon for what he did. You go to face a god, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed. Davrin, they need your strength. You got it. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. Good luck.
This archdemon was once a particularly impressive breed of dragon. Yeah. How's the fade? Still weird? Oh, the rituals made it quite unpredictable. <laughs> okay. Good talk. Watch yourself! Throne room. Knowing Algernon, we'll find him there. Rook! You made it. Algernon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. Light. I'll help Solus. Just get to the throne room.
Everybody ready? Absolutely. Hey, Corolla, you got us here. We've got this. you've left your mark. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant destroying everything he touches. You mistake discipline for cruelty, a failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanain, my brilliant sister, would have forged the Blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you. Nothing! This entire 
world is my domain! <laughs> I gave 
are mortal, Elganon. Enjoy it while it lasts. Done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganon and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored... <laughs> Rook, I do not wish to fight against you. The veil's not coming down on my watch. It is over. You could never stand against me alone. If you will excuse me, the final enchantments require a delicate touch.
alone. But you will be. The veil needs to be tied to the life force of an elven god. And now it is. Dread Wolf. You sneer at me so you understand. You are mortal compared to you, to your infinitesimal existence. I am a god! With Elgernon and Gillanane dead, and the Dread Wolf locked away in his own prison, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil God, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. But whenever one story ends, another begins. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remains of the Blight so that the flowers can grow again. Or the story of Arkhan Dorian Parvus, fighting to bring Minrathus out from under Venatori rule. Or the story of a caretaker, standing watch for new heroes. For the Antivan Crows, it would be a story of liberation from invaders and usurpers alike, as Treviso threw off its shackles. Among the Veil Jumpers, the fall of the last elven gods meant Arlathan was reborn. At their heart, stories are about change. A man exploring worlds beyond mortal existence. A woman protecting Doctown at all costs against an unknown future. An assassin and a demon pursuing justice for the sake of the future. A student of history helping the elves regain what they lost. Dragon Hunter, rediscovering their heritage from a place of strength. Or the Griffins, returning to the Grey Wardens. There are stories of love, but those stories aren't over. And we will always be grateful to those whose stories brought us where we are today. And those whose stories will live on with us forever. The storm quelled. The sun dimmed. The wolf defamed. At last, we have 
have balanced 